if you have to utter any kind of sound without using the tongue, what are the sounds that you could utter? I want you to experiment and see. Without using the tongue, just try to make sounds. Uh, yes, for sure you can do a. Uh, possible. Anything else? Hmm? Mm, yes, possible. Someone who is unable to speak, a mute person who is unable to speak, what are the sounds that he makes? Uh, ooh, mm, because these three sounds do not need the use of your tongue. See, if you remove your tongue, you are able to make only three sounds, a, ah, u, m. You are using the tongue, placing the tongue in different positions in your palate to mix these three sounds and produce all the other sounds that you produce. If you know something about the color television, you would know there are only three basic colors. Using these three colors, you see every other possible color on the tube. Similarly, there are only three basic sounds. Using these three sounds, you are able to produce all these other sounds. The tongue is just helping you to mix these three sounds in many complex ways. Now these three sounds, a, wu and ma, are referred to as the basic sounds or the universal sounds. Because these three sounds are the basis of all the other sounds that you can utter. If you utter these three sounds together, what do you get? It's not all. Uh, if you open your mouth and expel the air, it becomes a. Ah. As you're closing it halfway down, it becomes u. When you close it, it becomes m. Mm. Almost every creature can utter these three sounds. If you have a dog or a cat at home, if he yawns, what does he do? Ah. Hmm? If he opens his mouth, it does ah. Halfway down, it does u. Closing, m. Mm. So these are the three basic sounds which are the very basis of all the other sounds that you can utter. Why are they referred to as the universal sounds? Today modern science is telling you, the whole existence is just a reverberation of energy. It is the same energy vibrating in different ways which makes it so many things. If the whole existence is a vibration, where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound, isn't it so? Hmm? Where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound. So the whole existence is a complex amalgamation of sounds. This is one kind of sound, that is another kind of sound, every form is a certain kind of sound. If you feed any sound into an oscilloscope, the sound measuring instrument, depending upon its frequency, amplitude and other dimensions of the sound, it gives out a certain form. That means every sound has a form attached to it. Similarly, every form has a sound attached to it. So this relationship between the sound and the form is known as the science of mantras. Now, modern science is proving to you the whole existence is just a vibration. Where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound. So the whole existence is sound. 
and the root sound for all this complex amalgamation of sounds is sound a, vu and ma or am. So am is known as the universal sound or the basic sound in the creation. So in Christianity, whatever they close with today, whatever they say, they close it with Amen. If you look at it the way it is said at the Vatican, it's always said, Amen. You take off the N and say Amen. Um, oh. If you want to understand this, you can see a similar infliction in Tamil. See now for example, Ram. You know Ram, born in Ayodhya? When he came south, when Ram entered Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, people called him Rama. Then he crossed the Tamil Nadu border, people called him Raman. Whoever enters Tamil Nadu border, they get unified <laughs> This infliction of un in Tamil is much stronger than Ermaik. Amen. You take out the N, it's just Am. Today this Amen has gone to United States of America and become Amen. This is cultural and language distortions which happen. Islam, born also in the same region, under the same cultural and language influences, they are saying, Ameen. Take away N and say, Ameen. Um, oh, it's the same sound. Because wherever a human being becomes silent by his own nature. Not school teacher silence, not plugging your ears silence. If you become silent by your own nature, sound um will reverberate in the system because the root sound for your physical existence is sound um. When um reverberates, it starts from just beneath the navel and ends at the tip of your nose. This reverberation will just happen by itself. So wherever a human being truly sat quietly, utter quietness within himself, he always became aware of the sound arm. When he transmitted it, it got distorted over a period of time according to language and cultural influences. Even in India, Aum has become Om. It is not Om. You open your mouth and say, Ah, gently close your mouth, it becomes O. You close it, it becomes mm. Sound hum, um has innumerable benefits. Even today, if anybody come here with any kind of psych psychological disturbances, the first prescription is always um. You do this for a few weeks, you settle down and then we go into other aspects. I can show you hundreds of people for whom medically it was believed that they have to be on psychiatric medication for the rest of their life, have completely walked out of the need for medication simply by uttering arm. If you are suffering, from excessive fear, distorted dreams, bad dreams, nightmares, unstable mind, unstable body. If your general constitution is weak, you tend to fall sick too often. Particularly children, if they have attention disorders, Daily utterance of Am for a few minutes a day will make an enormous difference for you. 
if you have problems that you are unable to do anything with a certain resolve in your life, daily utterance of Am will be truly trans transformational for you. Within a couple of weeks, you can notice a phenomenal difference in the way you function. Because this is the basic sound in your physical existence.